In this video, we're going to learn how to evaluate logarithmic expressions. Now, a logarithm, log base b of x, if we set it equal to y, the logarithm y is the exponent to which b, the base of the logarithm, must be raised to get x, the number within a logarithm. And another way to write this is b to the y power is equal to x. So the key thing here is that the logarithm is the exponent of an exponential expression. And you read this as log base b of x. Now let's look at a few exponential statements to understand how logarithms work. So we're going to change each exponential statement to be an equivalent statement involving a logarithm. So if we have 81 is equal to 3 to the 4th, a true statement, in a logarithmic form, the logarithm is equal to that exponent because it is the exponent. So I know that the logarithm is equal to 4, and the base of the logarithm is the base of the exponential statement. So log base 3 of 81 is equal to 4. So if I was to read log base 3 of 81, I would read that as what power do I raise 3 to to get 81? Why, that's the fourth power. If I had 1 fifth is equal to 5 to the negative 1, again, that's a true statement. That would, be, that would be read as log base 5 of 1 fifth is equal to negative 1, because the log is the exponent, so it should equal the exponents. Which is certainly true. 5 to that negative 1 power gives me that 1 fifth within the logarithm. So if I were to rewrite this statement, 1.2 cubed is equal to m, that would be written as log base 1.2 of m is equal to 3. Because this number here, log base 1.2 of m is the power I raise 1.22 to get m, which happens to be 3. For e to the b is equal to 9, we just learned that e is a decimal approximation. This can be rewritten as log base e of 9 is equal to b, where again, the log is equal to the exponents. Now let's try to find the exact value of each logarithm here without a calculator. So I have log base 2 of 16. So the question I'm asking myself is I'm looking for what is the exponent I get from this log. Because it's 2 to some power should give me 16. 16 is also known as 2 to the 4th. So that tells me that the power I need to get 16 is 4. So log base 2 of 16 is equal to 4. Now let's say we have log base 3 of a fraction. So log base 3 of 1 27th. The same question arises is that this is equal to some exponents. So I'm looking for what power do I raise 3 to to get 1 27th. Now, 27 itself is 3 to the third power, so I have 3 to the x is equal to 1 over 3 cubed. And to get a matching similar base like you saw over here with 2 to the x and 2 to the fourth, I'll bring the 3 to the third power to the numerator, making this 3 to the x is equal to 3 to the negative 3. And now you can see that the power raised x to to get 1 27th is negative 3. So log base 3 of 1 over 27 is negative 3. But now sometimes it's a little less obvious right away what the value would be. For example, log base 8 of 32, the question comes up, what power do you raise 8 to to get 32? Now, 32 is not a power of 8. And there's no power I can raise 8 to, uh, no whole number power I can raise 8 to that would give me 32. So I need to come up with a different strategy here. I do recognize that 8 and 32 are both powers of 2. So I can rewrite 8 as 2 to the 3rd. 
and 32 as 2 to the 5th. Leave me with 2 to the 3x when you multiply those exponents, and 2 to the 5th, which gives me a statement that 3x should equal 5, since those bases are the same, like we've seen in the other two examples. So that power I'm looking for when I solve this equation is x is equal to 5 thirds, which means that x needs to be raised to that 5 thirds power to get 32. So log base 8 of 32 is 5 thirds. Now let's look at a base of a logarithm when the base is a, itself a fraction. Well, I'm going to ask myself the same question I did before. What power do I raise 1 half to to get x? And the, the power I need to raise 1 half to may not be a positive exponent because if I think of 1 half as 2 to the negative 1 rather than 1 half by moving that 2 to the numerator and I rewrite 16 as 2 to the 4th like we discussed earlier I can see that 2 to the negative x is equal to 2 to the 4th so negative x equals 4 and x equals negative 4 so the way to get this answer that 1 half to the x is equal to the 16 is used negative 4 for x. So log base 1 half of 16 is negative 4. So I hope you're catching on to the logarithm is that exponent that you're looking for in all of these problems. So let's look at log base 5 of negative 25. What power do I have to raise 5 to to get negative 25? And a statement comes up here is that exponential expressions cannot equal negative numbers. There's no power I could raise 5 to to actually get a negative number, like a negative 25. So since that is impossible, log base 5 of negative 25 is undefined. Which brings me back to this last statement that the domain of a logarithmic function, y is equal to a log base b of x, is x is greater than zero. We need a positive number within the logarithm. And it can't even equal zero because there is no power that can make 5 to the x equal to zero either. So it can only be positive numbers. Look at this last example where the base of a logarithm is a square root number. So what power do I have to raise the square root of 3 to to get 9? Well, the square root of 3 can also be written as 3 to the 1 half power. And 9 can be written as 3 squared. So multiply my two exponents, I can get 3 to the x over 2 power is equal to 3 squared which leaves me with the statements x over 2 is equal to 2. To finish solving that statement, I get x, I multiply each side by 2 to get x equals 4. So the square root of 3 to the 4th power would give me 9. So log base the square root of 3 of 9 is equal to 4. And that is how you evaluate logarithmic expressions.